Hello and welcome to episode 31 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll be going over even more resources that I use for help when modding the game. If you missed the first part of my resources, that's episode 4, and will be linked in item 1 in the description. The first tool is the Rust Cookbook. For anyone unfamiliar with Rust, or just needing to reference something, the Rust Cookbook has examples and explanations of a lot of Rust's code. If you'd like a more hands-on experience, though, the Rust Playground is a site that allows you to build and run Rust code in a browser, which I find super helpful when I quickly need to test a concept to make sure it works without diving into all of Smash's unique stuff. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, there's a really underused part of Smash Ultimate code editing, which can help a lot when writing status scripts, or even more basic code edits if you have a good understanding of its usage. That's the global table. You can think of the global table as a big array that stores a lot of information about an agent, such as their fighter kind, their BOMA, the X and Y position of the control stick, their current and previous statuses, and so much more. In item 4 of the description, you'll find this list of what each entry in the global table corresponds to. Big props to WooBoy and BlueJay for this list. Here's a short example of how to use the global table. In this example, which can be found in item 5 of the description, we make it so Peach's up B can be cancelled into float at the peak of its height by holding up. It would be more efficient to do this in a Peach fighter frame, or probably even in the status script for up B. However, I have this set up for the sake of teaching. The first thing we do is use the global table to get fighter kind, status kind, status frame, and stick Y. We check if the fighter is Peach, if she's currently at least 32 frames into up B, and if the left stick is pointed up. Then if all of that is true, we transition into the float start status. Here's an example of it working. If you want this to only work once or twice per airtime, we could start making variables to track how many times this was done, but this section is long enough, and should have probably been its own video. Nonetheless, there's been a few more useful dumps lately, two of which are the motionless.bin dump and the status script dump, which will be in items 6 and 7 of the description. The motionless dump was made by WooBoy, thank you very much for that by the way. You can use it to view any motion list in the game. There's bosses, assist trophies, Pokemon, items, and of course, fighters. Let's say I want to quickly reference the data on Peach's F-Tilt. I can go to Fighter, scroll down to Peach, Body, and Motionless.yaml. Then I can search for Attack, S... what did I say? Up tilt, F tilt, F tilt, S3. And now I know it has the move flag and has a cancel frame of 37. Super helpful. And as for the status script dump, it was made by Cool Sonic Kirby, so thank you for that. However, there's just a few disclaimers that you should know before using this. Operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication just don't show up, and any extra functions you'd need to translate aren't dumped. This leads to some scripts being, sorry CSK, almost completely useless. The dump as a whole is pretty useful though, if you need to quickly reference how a script works, or if you're just translating something simple like a pre-status script. If you're working on a bigger mod and you need a script to work properly, I would recommend watching episode 29 of this series, which will be an item 8 of the description. Next up, a helpful tool that you might have used in your math class, Desmos. It can be used just like a calculator, but there's a lot more depth to it too. Let's say you wanted to preview a formula, you can do that. Let's say you're hypothetically making a homing projectile for your phosphor mod, and you need to know what X and Y components of speed need to be added each frame to get the projectile to successfully home. You can do that. Here's a mock-up that I made when I was working on the Phosphora mod that allows you to move the player around, move the projectile around, and then it displays the X and Y components of speed. It shows the maximum value that each of them can be as the circle, and it even shows the angle between them and then the intersection shows the point at which the projectile will be next frame if this position is added to the projectile. Super nerdy, but Desmos really helped me on this project, and if you use it correctly, it can help you a lot to visualize complex projects. Lastly, as another status script helper, we have a shared Gidra server that holds a lot of common status stuff. 
If you ever need to see like a common status script like air dodge or shield, as well as anything in main, you can use the script dump. Here's a short tutorial by CSK on how to access and clone it. The whole thing will be in the description under item 9 if you need to reference it. Oh, and you'll also need Gidra 10.2.2 for this. The first step is to make a new non-shared project on Gidra. I then click Project, View Repo, Gidra Server. For the server name, put gidra.arcropolis.com and 37500 for the port number. I then hit Refresh. Both of those are subject to change, so if they don't work, go to CSK's GitHub site, linked in item 10 of the description, which will have up-to-date info. If this message pops up, hit Request Anonymous Access and OK. Then once that loads, go to Smush Loaderino and select Repository. Anything you'd like to clone, you can by dragging it from the right side to the left side. So if I wanted to see main1301, I can drag that over, which I'm not actually going to be doing today. <laughs> If you have really good internet, or if you really care about your storage, you can simply create a new shared project and follow the same steps to connect to the repo, and then view the files without actually downloading them. The final resource I've got for this episode is an alternative to SSB wiki and ultimate frame data, that being Dragdown Wiki. Dragdown is a wiki mostly focused on the competitive aspects of Smash Ultimate, showcasing in-depth frame data and competitive info for a lot of the game. I would personally prefer SSB Wiki and Ultimate Frame Data, but if there's any gaps in either of those sites, Dragdown can usually fill them. I'd also recommend this site for people getting into modding from a competitive Smash background. Dragdown is built like a lot of other fighting game wikis, so if you've ever had to look up info for other fighting games, like pretty much any fighting game other than Smash, you've probably seen a wiki formatted like this before. I personally use Dustloop for Blue Cross Tag Battle info, which is the wiki for Arxis games, Mizumi for Skullgirls, which focuses mostly on niche games, Super Combo for Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Garo, which started for Capcom games. There's also Wavu, Free Step Dodge, and the Virtual Fighter wiki for even more games. I'm not going to link all those in the description, just drag down, as you can find links to all of those wikis through drag down. Thanks for putting up with me for so long. As usual, all the links will be available in the description, and I hope that this video helped. Happy modding!